April 27, Saturday within the octave of Easter A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark When Jesus had risen, early on the first day of the week, He appeared first to Mary Magdalene, out of whom He had driven seven demons. She went and told His companions who were mourning and weeping. When they heard that He was alive and had been seen by her, they did not believe. After this, he appeared in another form to two of them walking along on their way to the country. They returned and told the others, but they did not believe them either. But later, as the eleven were at table, he appeared to them and rebuked them for their unbelief and hardness of heart because they had not believed those who saw him after he had been raised. He said to them, Go into the whole world and proclaim the gospel to every creature. The Gospel of the Lord He rebuked them for their unbelief. Mary Magdalene proclaims the news that Jesus is alive, but his disciples do not believe. Two other disciples tell the same story, but the other disciples remain skeptical. So when Jesus appears to them while eating their supper, he rebukes them for their unbelief. Why do the disciples find it hard to believe? Are they overwhelmed by their unbelief and hardness of heart? Old manuscripts are said not to contain the gospel of today. It was added later by a scribe or copyist who did not agree that Mark's gospel should end at chapter 16, verse 8. Scholars who study textual criticism evaluate the story as an abbreviated combination of resurrection stories from the other gospel writers. Setting aside this textual comment, we take to heart the meaning of Jesus' resurrection in our lives. We Christians, who already believe, must transmit our faith in the risen Lord by the way we conduct our lives, our liturgy, and charity works. Belief is not just assent to His resurrection, but also proclamation of God's power as manifested in Jesus' resurrection.